Welcome to the November edition of WebEx Rewind. If you're new here, WebEx Rewind is a quick hits show designed to highlight new WebEx features that went live this month. First up is new whiteboarding tools for Windows and Mac. We've added some new tools to make your whiteboarding experience better. For example, we added text so that you can type rather than write with a mouse. We also added built-in shapes and lasso selection. Next, if you want to share only a specific area of your screen during a meeting, you can now share only a portion of your screen and not your entire screen because no one needs to see my iMessages or my shopping tabs. When you're connected to Wi-Fi, you can now save mobile data by turning off the option to use data to show participants videos. If you connect to Wi-Fi, the videos automatically show again. This update is for iPhone, iPad, and Android. The next update is so great. How many times have you been on a meeting and you get an important phone call at the same time? Well, now you can be in two places at once and answer that phone call without leaving the meeting. Just put your audio and video on hold in the meeting and take the call. The meeting continues even though you put it on hold. Your audio and video will just be paused. And when you're finished with your call, go back to the meeting without having to rejoin. Awesome. Our last feature lets you replace Mac's built-in web camera using the iPhone camera. You can now use the rear-facing wide-angle camera of an iPhone to support high-quality photo and video capture. It also enables Mac Desk View app, which works like an overhead camera setup to show the desk area in front of the Mac without any additional equipment. How awesome is that? Thanks for watching this episode of WebEx Rewind. Catch us back next month for a special episode where we do a year in review of our favorite WebEx highlights.